So we're going to look at garland today. This is a gold stamp, or in the case of Virginia Rose, a platinum stamp design that was used in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, maybe even the 1950s. Uh, we'll begin by looking at the 1920s, and these are specialty shapes that make use of this stamp. So we'll get a good example to take a closer look. And there it is, garland. Sometimes it's called three daisies because it's clustered in the, the little three daisy form. Uh, Richard Ratcheter probably coined that term in his Virginia Rose book. He also coined the term uh, snowflake design, which we're going to see in a moment. We'll look at that real quick because sometimes the little snowflake or the center medallion is used in conjunction with the uh, garland treatment. But in the 20s, specifically about 1924, we start to see this gold stamp used along with decal treatments to create specialty items. And in the back we have an octagon jug with its cover, um, an empress shape 12's jug, and a Quaker 24's jug, all using grape decals with the uh, garland. Must have been a pretty popular treatment. Then we have a smaller octagon jug with this very colorful decal and uh, gold uh, garland stamp. There's no edge line. The uh, handles usually have the stamp as well. We can see it. The Quaker jug gets pretty worn off. Now one thing about these specialty pieces, you're not going to be able to find a full set of dinnerware that has these treatments. So if you find a jug like this, you're not going to find a full set of dinnerware that has this decal with this garland on it because these, as I said, they were specialty pieces. So they might have been factory seconds, sometimes they were intended to be specialty pieces. This de um, casserole would have been a factory second. So they just take some extra scrap prints and combine it with the gold stamp to create this piece. And we know it's a factory second. All you have to do is look at the bottom and you see the inferior splotchy glaze. So rather than uh, discard it, they could make use of it and sell it to like a a grocery store or a hardware store or any any place that wanted to sell odd lots of pottery. Uh, another version we have of the garland treatment uh, we have this rose decal being used with it in this uh, covered salad nappy, an unusual piece from Quaker. It's not a casserole, this is the Quaker casserole and that's the covered salad nappy. Another Quaker piece, this uh, covered teapot with cameo decal and gold stamps. And this, I'm not 100% sure if this was made at Homer Lachlan or not, but it has our gold garland and it is the uh, Brittany shape. It's from 1940, uh, but it just doesn't look like something Homer Lachlan would have done in this red uh, treatment. So I'm pretty sure that was probably decorated by another company. Because when it comes to gold stamps and platinum stamps, a lot of other potteries had access to these stamps. They all bought them usually from Quality Stamp in East Liverpool. And you will see the, this, these three daisy garland stamps on other pieces of pottery from uh, all over the East Liverpool area. Now the garland stamp was first used on dinnerware with Yellowstone. And this is treatment number Y56, and this is Yellowstone Ivory with the garland stamp and a center medallion and then it was used on Yellowstone vellum so this would be from 1931 after the vellum glaze was uh, created for century it was then used on Wells Yellowstone and uh, Jade this particular example let's see what it says every lady can secure a complete 52 piece dinner set in this pattern by attending the Strand Theater on Monday nights starting Monday, June 6th, Strand Theater, 572 West Church Street, Orlando, Florida. And this treatment number was Y187. And it was, wasn't unusual for Homer Lachlan to make uh, dinnerware sets uh, for theater goers in the 30s and 40s. Each time you'd go, you'd get a different piece and you could build a, a set. Uh, we see that with Century, even Tango. There, there's a, when we look at Tango in more detail, we're going to look at some uh, order forms uh, that theaters had uh, going through different premium uh, companies to, to acquire Tango sets for uh, movie theater promotions. Now, after Yellowstone, Garland was used on Century. And we've got several pieces here. There are several variations. 
Uh, one of the most common is pattern C43, which has the garland treatment on the border, no center medallion, and no edge line. So it's just simply the uh, gold stamp. So there's a 36's oatmeal, a fruit cup, 36's bowl, sauce boat and liner, or pickle if you will. We just did a video on pickles not too long ago. We have a nappy. We're going to look at that in a minute. And a rim soup. The next pattern that used uh, garland was C50. It's a little more difficult to find. It's a really nice version. We have the gold garland on this casserole and it has a green trim. So we got a green edge line and these green slight handles. This particular example is not marked, but we know that this is the century shape. We know it's the vellum glaze. We know it's the garland stamps. And in the treatment catalogs, it lists C50 as this combination of green trim with gold garland. Another version is C135, which has garland with the center medallion and a gold trim on the edge. Now this nappy that I passed over a minute ago, it has the gold garland with no edge, just like this uh, rim soup. And we know the rim soup is C43. This one, however, is marked with a pattern number C83. And you're going to see this with pieces from Century, even Virginia Rose. Uh, well, actually, you'll see it with Patrician and Virginia Rose, where the same pattern on the same shape with the same glaze is going, they're going to have different treatment numbers. The primary reason for that is because they were separating the grades aware. So C43 was probably meant for a, a better grade aware and C83 was probably meant for a lesser grade aware. Uh, you probably can't tell in the video but this has a very uneven glaze to it. So C83 is the same as C43 except it was meant for seconds whereas this was probably first runs. So that's enough about Century. Oh we do need to talk about this guy real quick. This platter in the back that harvest like decal was used on specialty salad bowls, it was used on oven serve, and it's primarily a seconds decal. That is, if you had a factory second, this decal would end up on it, and in this case, it was combined with this garland treatment. Uh, you probably can't see it in the video, but there are a lot of dark specks in the glaze, so I'm, I'm really not surprised that this particular decal uh, appears on this platter. If we look at the marking on the back, let me get this over here. We can see the regular Homer Lachlan marking and then second selection, a gold stamp over the glaze. So you will see that second selection marking, also used by Hall China, maybe even other potteries. But in this case, um, yeah, it was used on this century platter. Again, I'm not surprised. You probably can't tell, but it, it's not in the best shape. And uh, this particular decal you will find on seconds, uh, again, on oven serve nappies, probably even other platters from other shapes. All right, now we can go to Virginia Rose. Because Virginia Rose uses garland and platinum uh, with no edge line. And there are two versions. The first one is VR261, which uses the garland border, oh, it's this one, with the center medallion. And we look at this oval baker, turn it over, and we see the treatment number. VR261. Now if we have the garland border without the center, then it's VR2421. Let me turn those over. So VR261 has the medallion, VR421 does not. Now this platter in the back would be VR261 because it has the medallion. And this 13-inch uh, platter v has VR421 because it doesn't have the medallion. Now, this platter, which is 13 inches without the medallion, comes with that sugar and creamer. I bought that in a set. The 15-inch platter with the medallion came with this sugar and creamer. I bought that in a set. But the sugar and creamers for both sets are identical. So this is, is something that you will encounter with this particular treatment in that the hollowware is not going to have a medallion, at least most of it, um, so they're interchangeable, the hollow air between VR261 and VR421. So if you have something like the sauce boat, which comes, let's see what date it is, 1934, you could use this with either set, because it, do, it doesn't have a medallion. 
Now, the casserole, on the other hand, is the exception. Because when you remove the lid, it has a medallion on the inside. So the medallion is going to make that one VR261. If it didn't have the medallion, then it would be VR421. So that's a little bit about Garland. Again, comes from the 20s, 30s, 40s, maybe even the 50s. I can't confirm that, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was used in the 50s. This was a very popular gold stamp. And remember, this was also used by other potteries as well. So that's going to be it for now. And um, yeah, Garland, Homer Lachlan, Specialty Shapes, Yellowstone, Century, and Virginia Rose.